Okay, so let's talk about shutdown behavior and termination protection. So basically, when we stop our Linux machine or Windows from the OS, how should the instance react? Well, by default, it's stopped, but there is a way to have it being terminated. And so just remember that this is not applicable when you do stop or terminate from the console or the API. This is due when you do the shutdown behavior from within the OS, and we'll see this in the hands-on. The CLI attribute for this, by the way, is called instance initiated shutdown behavior, which makes sense. Okay, the second thing you need to know is termination protection. And this is to protect against accidental termination in the AWS console or CLI. So this is to protect humans against making mistakes or your employees, right? So the exam tip is that if you have an instance where you said the shutdown behavior is terminate and you also have termination protection enabled, if we shut down from the instance OS, what will happen? Well, the instance will still be terminated. So let's have a play with this just to make it into perspective. So let's go ahead and launch an instance. I'll choose Amazon Linux 2, T2 Micro. And then in the instance detail, here we go, we can find the options. So the shutdown behavior by default is stop, but we can say terminate. We can also enable termination protection to protect against accidental termination. So we'll enable both options. The rest is going to be the same, and we're going to see what that changes. So we'll click on uh, Add Storage, Add Tags, Configure Security Group. We'll use an existing one, the AWS SSH. We'll review and launch, and we'll just launch our instance. We'll say you're using the AWS Course uh, Key Pair and launch our instance. Here we go. Our instance is now launching. While this launches, I want to show you that you can modify these attributes on the running instance. For example, for this one, if I right click, and I go to instance setting, I can change the termination protection. So here right now for my instance I had before, it is disabled, but what I can do is enable it. And now this instance that was launched from before cannot be terminated from the console. If I right click and try to terminate and say, yes, terminate, you see, it doesn't work. It's saying these instances have termination protection and will not be terminated. And so I need to disable termination before I'm able to terminate my instance. So it's kind of nice because I've protected it. Same for this one, obviously, if I try to terminate, it will not allow me to. Okay, so now let's have a quick example because this second one is running with uh, the shutdown equals terminate and this one is running with the shutdown equals stop. If we look at it, by the way, we can also um, change this by clicking on instance setting and change shutdown behavior. As we can see, this one is set to terminate while the first one that I had before uh, was set to stop. So let's go ahead and SSH into both machines and we'll see what happens. Okay, so let me SSH into my second machine on the right-hand side of my screen. So I'll issue the SSH command. And this is the instance that has the shutdown behavior equals terminate. My first instance that I launched from before is the one right here. And I'll also launch it on the left hand side of my terminal and it's just a little feature of my terminal i can have them both side by side just to show you okay so on the left hand side this instance should stop and this instance should terminate what i'm going to do is issue the same the same setting uh, the same command called shutdown now so i'll do sudo shutdown now otherwise it won't work and now my instance is closing and here i will do the exact same thing sudo shutdown now so I stopped both instances the same way, but now if we go to the AWS console, we should see something different. So let's refresh. As we can see, one is stopping, the other is shutting down, and I'll just wait a little bit to refresh to show, you, to show you what happened. And now we can see that my second instance that I just launched with shutdown behavior equals terminate got terminated, while my first instance that was launched from before got stopped. And so this demonstrates um, the basically the setting called shutdown behavior, how it is impacted. Just remember that the stop needs to be issued straight from the OS. For example, we're using the, shoot, the, the shutdown now command. Okay, so that's about it for demonstrating uh, protection for termination, as well as the shutdown behavior. And I will see you in the next lecture.